Good morning. Welcome to Storytime. My name is Miss Amy and I work at the Western Branch of the St. Joseph County Public Library. Today's book is Mama Destroys the World, written by Jonathan Stutzman, illustrated by Heather Fox, and read with permission of Macmillan, Macmillan Publishing Group. On Friday, Llama will destroy the world. I am Llama, proclaimed Llama. Monday. On Monday, Llama found cake. Piles of cake. More cake than any llama should ever eat. Dat, said Llama. Llama ate all of the cake. Which I feel like we really can't fault him for that. But this was his first mistake. Burp. It was an honest mistake. It was a delicious mistake. One of those mistakes that leads to more mistakes and ultimately the ultimate doom of everything. Tuesday. Tuesdays were for dancing. So Lama put on his dancing pants. The pants did not fit. He was still full of cake. But he never danced without his dancing pants. They made his butt look groovy. So Lama huffed and puffed and squeezed and stuffed himself into the pants. This was his second mistake. And then Llama danced. He jigged, he tangoed, he cha cha real smooth. His rhythm was perfect, his moves were precise, but the pants never stood a chance. RIP! The rip was thunderous. It shook the house, the trees, and the mountains. It shook the very fabric of the universe. The cosmic vibrations from the ripping parts were so mighty that a black hole tore open. Wednesday. On Wednesday, Llama found the black hole. Dat, said Llama. He had never seen a black hole before. He didn't know what it could be or what it could do. But Llama was a llama of science. He knew the answers were out there, waiting to be discovered. Llama read books. He ran complex, complex experiments. He debated with the greatest minds and thinkers he could find. And then he analyzed the data and came up with a well thought out conclusion. Dat, said Llama wisely. But instead of warning the world of its imminent doom, Llama decided to do something more important. He made a bologna and cheese sandwich with extra cheese. This was his third mistake. Thursday. On Thursday, many signs of doom appeared in the sky. Flying top hats, soaring teacups, twisting, tumbling, well-dressed turtles. But Llama didn't notice. Because Thursdays were for painting, and Llama was busy painting his latest masterpiece. The end was near. Friday. On Friday, the world ended. The more the black hole sucked in, the bigger and stronger it grew. The animals flew, the pizzas and bicycles and houseplants flew, and Llama flew too. I am Llama. The black hole swallowed everything up. Every single thing left in the world. Everything left in the universe. Until there was nothing. Saturday. On Saturday, on the other side of the black hole, everything was fine. The universe tumbled out exactly as it had been before. Even Llama. I am Llama, proclaimed Llama. The sky was blue. The sun was shining. The world was perfectly calm, like nothing had ever happened. Sunday. On Sunday, with the world back to normal, Llama found something wonderful. Piles of pie. More pie than any llama should ever eat. Dat, said Llama. Llama ate all the pie. The end. I hope you enjoyed this story. It came from a library book. You can visit us online at sjcpl.org for more great videos and resources. See you next time.